I have started my 2023 planner shopping early and I feel like I have looked at a thousand different planners and I cannot find exactly what I want. I've decided to create my own and one of the things that I have to have in my planner is space to journal. So I decided to create my own journal sheet. started by creating a custom size of 8.5 inches by 11 inches and you can go smaller but I like to spread out and I like to have room. So I've created my first sheet in the 8.5 by 11 inches and I've got it going. I want to create kind of a different sheet for every day of the month. You can see I've got my graphics at the top. I think that they're just inspirational. I love my graphics. I say it all the time. I think they're just fun and they are very inspiring. And then I've got my line section to write in and then I've created a bullet journal section in case I want to doodle or you know put something there that I need to draw. And since I can't draw a straight line this is helpful and you can just see I've got different days going and to show you how I've created this I'm going to add a page and the first thing we're going to start with is our line and you just go to elements add a line from lines and shapes and then I'm going to stretch it out all the way across and I'm going to move it up to where I want the first line to be and then I'm going to go to this button and I'm going to change my line weight it doesn't need to be very thick for me, so I'm just going to drop it down to a 1. And then I'm going to Control D to duplicate that line. And I'm going to bring it down to where I want the bottom line to be. And I want to leave enough room down here so that I have the bullet journal section. So I'll add this about right here. Go back up and Control D. And don't worry about lining these up just yet. Add your lines, however many you think you'll want. And let's see if I can just pull these over that way. Like I said, don't worry about, you know, straightening them all out just yet. We're going to fix it. I just find if I go ahead and pull them over a little bit, it kind of just helps the first process. So now I've gotten all the lines I want added. I'm going to go back and select them all. I'm going to go to position and I'm going to tidy up and see this spaces them all out evenly and lines them up perfectly. And now I want to add the bullet journal section. I'm going to go back and I'm going to group these together because if you pull one out of line, getting it back in is just extra steps you don't need to take. And I'm going to go back and add another line. And again, you do this from the elements tab in the lines and shapes. And I'm going to pull it all the way across. And this time I'm going to go to the line style tab again. I'm going to click on rounded end, point, end points and I'm going to choose the dotted line. And this time I'm going to slide the line weight up to create the dots that I need. And I like to go with an 11 or a 12. I think that's just a good size for me personally. And you can slide this up and down this bar and make them as big or as small as you want. But like I said, 12 works for me, so that's where I'm gonna leave it. And then I'm gonna hop over to the line color tab and I'm going to make this a very light gray. Actually, that's one of my taupe colors. So a very light gray. And then I'm going to go back and Control D multiple times and just scoot it over. I'm going to select them all. Actually, I'm going to move this one up to where I want the first line to go. And you can get it fairly close to that bottom line. And then we'll put this one down here. I'm going to go back and select them all. Go to position and tidy up. Then I'm going to bring them right where I want them. And again, they're all evenly spaced and they're all lined up on each side. And there's your bullet journal. Now it 
is a little small, so the edge doesn't come to the end of the line. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select them all, I'm gonna group them together, and then I'm gonna grab this corner, and I'm just going to pull down so that it expands out, and the edges on the right side match up. So now I have my lines and my bullet journal section. Let me show you one other thing before we go any further because some people like, let's delete this section because some people do like to have a grid style instead of the bullet journal style or they want both. So if you want both, you're going to add your line and I'm going to grab a guide bar and watch the color at the top. So that's when it changes colors to this pinky purple color, that's when you know you're right at the middle of your page. So I'm going to take my line and I'm going to grab it and pull it over. Go back to the line style tab again. I'm going to turn on rounded endpoints. Go to the dotted line. Make my lines a size 12. And then I'm going to hop over to the color tab. And I'm going to make it the light gray. And then repeat the process just like we did up top. Okay, so I want my bottom line to go here. I want my top line to come up to right under that line. I'm just gonna pull a couple of these over so that it grabs all of them. Select all, go to position, and go to tidy up. And now it has brought them all together, spaced evenly on both sides, and horizontally and vertically. Okay, so I would, if you want a grid, I would use Canvas table section, and I would scroll down on the elements tab to the tables. And I would add this one and let's pull it down to where we want it and line it up. So I want to try to keep everything very consistent. So I'm going to add a row and then pull it in just a bit more. So it's the same size. I want it the same size as the bullet journal section. And then we're going to add a column. So that matches up fairly well. And of course I have to zoom in so that I can see. All right, and this does need to come up just a smidge and scoot it in. And now you have a grid section. If you're finding this video helpful, please hit the like button, subscribe, and tap that notification bell so you'll be notified whenever a new tutorial is published. And so you have your journal page, and if you want to take out the bullet section, you can totally take those out. Remember, this is your journal page, so you can design what works for you. And we're gonna group these together. Now you have a journal page that has a grid section, a bullet section, and a line section. That would work great for me. Here, what I'm gonna do is, this is kind of my mantra every morning. That's when I find myself at my most creative. So it's like when I get up, it's like every tab in my brain is open. So this kind of really is my mantra every morning. And then I will add my graphics and I'll go to my folders. Okay, so we'll add this one. And I think every day I just kind of automatically create some kind of theme for the graphics at the top. And if you want to do that, that's perfectly okay. Again, remember, this is your journal page. This is just for you. I'm gonna pull this guide out of the way. This, this is just for you. And this really will help start your day in a fantastic way. I wholeheartedly believe in journaling. And so we'll just add, you know, um, I love balloons. So we'll go add these, although it doesn't really fit my theme so far. Yeah, we'll pull that one out. So we'll add this one, we'll do this one. So now it looks kind of like a, there we go. Let's pull these two together and group them and then go to position and center. Rainbow. And it looks like the theme for this day is going to be pink. Add the rainbow. Stars down. There we go. Clouds. Those over. And let's flip those horizontally. Then we'll just put another set right over here. Again, you just want to make this all about what you like and what's going to inspire you for the day. So, I mean, if you don't like this design, that's okay. Make it your way. So we'll go on and add this one too. I like this one. Kind of a retro feel to it. Let's take out this rainbow and put this here. And 
you don't like it, that's okay. I do. That's why I always say, this is for you. Do this your way. Let's add. And then I also have a couple of other little things that I could add. Um, so let's go back. And I know that I have a mushroom in this set. So just have to find it. It's not the ones I'm looking for. Okay, so I'm going to go to elements. And I'm just going to look for mushroom. Can't edit the image. So let's look at this one. There we go. That works. And just shrink it down. I want it to go right, and we'll pull that right in the middle of those two. And there's your journal page. And I'll repeat this process until I have a full month's worth of journal pages. That way, I just have something different every day that inspires me to start my day and get down my thoughts, get my stresses, you know, gone out of my brain. It's just a great way for me. And I thought you might like to be able to create your own journal page, too. I'll be back next week with another tutorial. And until then, have a great week. Mm -hmm.